Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we're going to be looking at factorizing by grouping by Met Yanata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So example number one. What do you do when you are given something like this to factorize? First of all, when you factorize by grouping, you need at least four terms, okay? For it to be able to be factorized by grouping. So what do we do? Number one, let's factorize it separately. You know the four terms? Let's separate them and then we factorize two terms separately and then we factorize the other two terms. So let's start with these two terms. Let's look at the number part, the 2 and the 8. What is the highest common factor of 2 and 8? It is 2. That's why we read, wrote the 2 here. Now, remember what I told you in the previous video. For you to, like if we have um, letters, we look at the exponents. Like this is m squared and the other one is like m to the power 1. Hence nothing is written. Now, we always use the smallest exponent. Like in this case, this is m squared, this is m to the power 1, which means this m to the power 1 is the small, is the m with a small exponent. So that's why we have 2m, okay, as a factor. Good. Now then we start dividing. What's 2m, hmm, which is our factor, divided into this first term? So we say 2m squared divided by 2m equals to m, okay, because 2 divided by 2 gives you 1, and then m squared minus, or divided by m is like, we minus the exponent, which is like 2 minus 1 exponent gives us 1 m, okay, so let's look at 8, what's 8 m divided by 2 m, it gives us only a positive 4, okay, because the m's cancel out, and the 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now, again we factorize this one separately. Okay? So what's the highest common factor of 3 and 12? Hmm? It's 3. Okay? A number that can divide in 3 and in 12 would be 3. Which is the highest common factor. Good. Now, when we look at the letter part, is there M on the other side? No. There's only an M on this side. So, in this moment, we only use 3 as the common factor, okay? So, we say, what's 3m divided by 3? So, 3 divided by 3, they cancel out, which means it will be 1. That's why we didn't write a 1. And the m will be left, okay? So, that's why inside the bracket, we have this m. So, and then we look at the 12. What's 12 divided by 3? It gives us a positive 4. Okay? Now step 2. Look at the brackets for similarity. Which brackets are we talking about? When you factorize these two separately, these two brackets should be similar. Okay? Once they are similar, it means like you are, you are on the right track. Once these two brackets are not the same, it means somewhere, somehow, you did something wrong. So what do we do from this instant? We take the number that is in the bracket, this m plus 4. Huh? And then we write it to say open bracket, m plus 4, close bracket. And then we take this 2m plus 3. We put it in another bracket. Hmm? Don't get confused. This 2m plus 3, we put it in another bracket. And just like that, that's our final answer. Okay? Let's look at another example. Example number two. So, again, you have four terms, okay? And you are told to factorize this. So, we use grouping. So, always factorize separately, which means you separate the two. And then you look for highest common factor of three, three A squared and 6a. Let's look at the number part. What's the highest common factor of 3 and 6? It's 3. What's the... Uh, you know, when it comes to a letter part, you know what I told you? We use the lowest exponent. Exponent is like the small number on top of a letter, okay? It's 
it's also called an index now which which one is having a small exponent between this a and the other a this one has is a to the power 2 this one is a to the power 1 which means a to the power 1 is smaller that's why we we use that a to the power 1 okay so let's start dividing 3a squared divided by 3a gives us only a, a. why because 3 divided by 3 cancel out and a to the power 2 is like having two a's and this is only one a if you minus one a from two a's it will give you one a okay now six a divided by three a what's the answer it's positive two because the a's cancel out and three six divided by three sorry is two okay now let's look at the second part and factorize it separately again What's the highest common factor of 4 and 8? It's 4. That's why we write the 4 here. Okay? And then we look at this A. Is there A on the other side? No, there's no A. So we don't use this A as a factor. Okay? So we say 4A divided by 4. The 4s will cancel out, so only the A will be left. That's why we put the A inside the bracket. Now... 8 divided by 4 gives us what? It gives us 2. So, and then again, look at the brackets for similarities. Hmm? These two brackets, are they similar? Are they the same? Hmm? Are they giving you like A plus 2? Is it the same on the other side, A plus 2? If yes, it means number 1. Write that A plus 2. And then you write the 3A plus 4. And remember here the answers. It doesn't matter in which one you write. Sometimes it doesn't really matter which one you write first. Sometimes the 3a plus 4 can be first. And then a plus 2 can be like behind. But as long as you get these two answers. And these two at the brackets should always be the same. Okay? So let's look at this one. So what do we do? Let's factorize separately again. Okay? So, b to the power 3 and minus 4b squared. So here, there's no number on this side. There's only a letter. And then on the other side, there's a number and a letter. So what do we do? What's the factor in this case? The factor in this case... Remember here there is no number, so we don't use numbers, we use the letters. But number one, always remember which letter is, the, is like having a small exponent. Hmm? This one has an exponent of 3, the other one has an exponent of what? Of 2. Meaning, we use this one with an exponent of 2. That's why we wrote the b squared here. Okay? And then we start dividing. What's b to the power 3 divided by b to the power 2? Hmm? If you have three b's and you minus two b's, how many b's are left? One b. Okay. Now, negative four divided by b squared gives us what? It gives us just negative four. Hmm. Cause the four remains the four. Cause it's like you are saying negative four divided by one, and then the b squared divided by b squared is like you're saying if you have two b's then you minus two b's how many b's are left zero so that's why there is no b's left uh, written there okay so let's factorize this one separately what's the highest common factor of three and twelve it's three okay so let's divide three b divided by three the threes will cancel out and only b will be left and then if you say negative twelve divided by three it gives you negative 4. Now look at the brackets for similarity. Are they the same? Is it b minus 4 on both sides? b minus 4, yes. So and then you can write your b minus 4 as the answer. And then, you, and then the b squared plus 3 on the other side. And just like that, you got your final answer. Always remember that these two brackets should be the same. Okay? And you write your answer 
starting with the bracket and then you write the second one as the p squared plus 3 okay but when you write your answer you can also start as b squared plus 3 and then this bracket as you write your answer here okay just make sure that these two brackets the b minus 4 should always be the same so here I've given you test questions to practice. Feel free to pause the video and try them out and see if you can get the right answers. Okay, here are the answers. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share! with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.